Harry, today it's the open day here at Lambourne and as a very well-known trainer we're standing in your yard. Can you just give us a bit of an overview of why we do this open day here at Lambourne? Well, I think really the, the open day has, has been a fixture that's been in the calendar for many years and I, I think it's something to point out that, that it is a day of no racing. Right. Um, it is very much a charitable day for us that we have um, basically we, all trainers open their, their doors to the public. Um, we have basically horses to sort of view behind closed doors and similarly parades and all sorts of things and, and it's a really big promotional day for us. So they can see the horses and have a look at them and you've had a few recent winners which is really good. Absolutely, you know, we had three winners last week so we're top of the hot list which is fantastic. Um, it's very Excellent. good and Excellent. very much also today is you know we, we, we do have sort of syndicate shares that sort of starting off at sort of 500 pounds or even cheaper than that and we're trying to promote those as well um, but I think overall it's it's for the charitable cause and it's great right. to have the general public beginning to know more about racing which is such a fantastic sport. And the people involved in the charities would include who, who would they be? We've got the Air Ambulance, um, who very much is a sort of helicopter that, that very much, say a member of staff, hurts himself or herself on the gallops. On the gallops, the, yeah. The, the, um, the helicopter will come and pick them up and obviously take them to hospital. Okay. And we were collecting for that. Also, the Lambourne housing for housing for stable staff. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, you know, all, all, all the sort of charities towards racing welfare, anything to do with racing is, is benefits from today. And you allow your people to come into yard. We're standing in your yard. You've got the swimming pool where they exit size the horses there and they can walk around and see the horses and see that they're being entered there's one in Nottingham in a day or two times and that you've entered and uh, you can go on from there and show them the different things that, that how to feed them and things like that and they get a feel for the horse racing industry that way absolutely I mean we, a lot of people all they know about racing is going to the races and, mm. and obviously mm. the betting side that, mm. you know we all love a bet etc etc but mm. here you actually see how do we get them prepared for a race and as you quite right pointed out there we have a swimming pool here which not many yards have uh, and we very much use that for sort of horses that say have little joint problems or something that can't go okay. out on hard ground they go into a swimming pool and it's mm. quite unusual for people to see and it's a major sort of puller in of crowds for us but very much you know see feeding what hay we use mm. Mm. so obviously people that are involved with their own horses can, can mm. see what we do as well. And you've got about 25, 30 horses here at the minute and you get up at what time in the morning and go up on the gallops and watch them? Well it's a very it's a very old fashioned industry ours that we, we start very early in the mornings. My, my head lad actually gets in at, at half past 4 a.m. Um, and but the majority of the staff start at half five ditto we all, all sort of get done early and then we sort of have a little break in the afternoon but it's it's quite a, a long yeah, job but it's yeah. thoroughly enjoyable but occasionally you take your clients onto the uh, gallops and talk them through what's going on so they get more of personal service from you uh, all the time through the career of that particular horse that uh, they might own or partly own absolutely no we very much you know we, we welcome and, and we have a lot of owners that have become our friends and, mm -hmm. and, and very much we're very open doors to, to clients come down come and have breakfast see the horse on the gallops in the morning um, similarly come down for lunch or similarly mm. you know whenever it suits pop in really pop, pop and, in, and then see you or see your wife Christina and just let the conversation flow as to how you take ownership and what's in it for you free tickets to the race meetings where the horses are entered and so on and you keep in touch regularly on the email system so that you know when your horse is going to run it's a very personal service, isn't it? Yeah, it that's the way you do it. it. It is really. It's a very personal service, and I think, especially nowadays, people like to know what's going on. Yes. And especially with Absolutely. our industry, it's it, you know, okay. it's not the cheapest, and it's it deserves quality to be, to be given back. And, Excellent. And um, no, you're absolutely right. Okay. Sounds as though there's a police car in the background. <laughs> I hope it's not coming here. Oh, it's an ambulance. Okay. Harry, can I just say thanks very much? It's very nice to be here again, and great to see you. Hope you have a few more winners in the next week or two and look forward to seeing you throughout the season.